Hey everyone, this is Manly Baz here, and welcome to the Faith 2 demo. The sequel to Faith 1, which, if you remember, was a kind of old school pixel horror game. It was pretty cool, it had a lot of depths, and it had a lot of dark, dark cults and spooky things going on. So, like the original, we start at a car, it seems, but now we are in a cornfield. Someone died here. I see they have a smile on their face laced. Bloody red smile. I'm just gonna keep walking and see if the truck still hits you. <laughs> Damn truck. I don't think we're making any progress. I think it's just a tree. I'll go one more time and see if it changes. Okay, no, it didn't. Wait, there's a trail. The body's gone. Let's follow it. There's a person covered in blood? Maybe? Scarecrow. Spooky. Hello, is anyone here? Person covered in blood? I found a scarecrow. Also, the, the clearing around it is shaped like a cross. Cornfields are kind of moving on their own, like something maybe is following me. I'm back here again. Don't do this to me, buddy. Maybe the cornfields just always loop. I'll just try going straight down. Into the Scarecrow again, of course. I'll try going straight up now. There now might be something evil in that corn. Is it trying to tell me something? Okay, now nah, that's kind of... <laughs> that's a bit much. <laughs> oh, God. Let's watch the corn... power down and see what happens. Oh god! Mortis. Mortis. It's like a damn velociraptor coming out of the field. Oh, it reloaded me back here. So I am supposed to move on from the scarecrow. But probably not to die, so I probably have to like spook the thing. I have my cross out! <laughs> Be gone! Oh god! Oh god! Maybe I should have kept the cross out. Now I need to line it up. Ooh, that's so close. Gotta tame this Velociraptor. Very evil Velociraptor. You seem to destroy the child? My faith is weak or your faith is weak? I can vaguely understand it. Let's see if it changed. I can tell you're connected to the Scarecrow. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. So maybe when that thing's face is fully gone, you'll be dead. Comparatively dead. Come on! We did. I heard the little jingle. Gone. Weird. Poor dog. What are these? Graveyard? Strung up bodies, maybe? Statues? Oh yeah, there's ghosts and things again. Still cool. What more could I have done? I warned them not to go into the fields. I warned them against straying too far from the sanctuary. Should I have shut them in their quarters and nailed boards over the door? 
Now I am digging six graves here in the shadow of the church. Six little graves forever looking to St. William. Some of the boxes are empty. The scattered remains we found couldn't fill them all. But I know they're all gone. I know their souls were taken by that thing in the field. I will finish my gruesome work and then renounce the ministry. I don't want to see anyone from the sanctuary ever again. Not even that girl who stayed inside the house last night. I don't believe in the devil anymore. Whatever this is much, much worse. Can I find more? Let's try it. Go back down. About a week ago, we started hearing those awful noises coming from the adjacent fields. After three nights, the children were getting pretty scared. I told them it was just coyotes. The third night, the noises seemed closer than ever. The dogs were panicking. I could hardly approach them. And Greta, the last of that old line, brought over by the German missionaries, broke loose and tore off into the corn. We all listened, too scared to go after her, as her barks faded away into the distance. After that, we had two nights of silence besides the endless whispering of the wind blowing through the crops. But then this morning, I stepped outside to see this fresh horror left at the edge of the field. There was something out there. Let's try going left and right. Exactly the same. Okay. It's probably because it's a demo version. It's not fully developed. Maybe one text per screen, then? We're going north! Finish the house! Let's see if there's anything north or south of this, because in the original there was, but like I said once again, since it's a demo version, that might not be in. Okay, no, it isn't. Death awaits. I'm quite sure. We have a new volunteer to look after the children and take care of the things around the sanctuary. Sister Bell. She came highly recommended by the main office in Hartford. Bringing her in the marks the completion of staffing the church after all these years. The church has been very careful about letting out what happened to those children. As far as I can tell, I'm the only one left who knows about it. Soon I'll be gone and the sanctuary will be able to go back into service. I think I finally left those dark times behind. We've even received clear at once. To move in a new group of children. Three next week and another. Three sometime next month. Check around. See if I can use my cross on something. No. This is not good. Oh god, that was a big demon! Man, this place is doomed. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Sister Bell seems like a naturally cheery person, but when the new children arrive, she became possibly elated. She does dolls over them constantly, takes them on walks, and tells them stories long into the night. I have seen her engaging in strange behavior. We don't teach the children much dancing or singing besides what I've found in the hymns, but I've seen the children dancing around Sister Bell in a circle from time to time. While they dance, she stands still and looks up into the sky as if listening to something. On another occasion, I found all six children standing in a line just outside the cornfield. They were all looking to the field, where Sister Bell was standing and talking to them. These old games don't bother me too much, since she's so good with the children. Their cleaning is excellent too. As soon as she arrives, she seems to just instantly know her way around. Let the damn wolf into the damn sheep's den! One over here, is something over here? Is the table haunted? Okay. The table's not haunted. Is the chair haunted? Okay, the chair's not haunted. Not. Thou shall not kill. Shall kill thou. 
That cross not coming and pale me randomly. Okay. Check these crosses. The lore. Uh oh. They could have given me the worst last case before retirement. Old Catholic church out in the middle of nowhere. One missing woman, four missing kids, and one deceased old nun. The brothers and sisters of whatever the hell the people that work here call themselves are all terrified. And worse, superstitious. All except Father Clark, who runs the place. Him and I drive along the farm roads of night, looking for signs of missing people. And he makes a pretty good company. There are two kids left, twins. Say they were asleep the night the four went missing. They also claim that the woman, Miriam Bell, is not actually gone. When I ask where she is, they look at each other, then back at me, and tell me to ask her myself. You know you're in trouble when you hear that. Evil? Are you around? Computer looks pretty evil. No, it's just a skull. That doesn't look evil at all. It's a perfectly fine skull. Evil! Nothing. Evil! Nothing. Evil! Okay, that's right. You don't come out on there at the last minute. I guess it's like a secret passageway. You see, like, it opens up when I come back in. I keep thinking I'm seeing twitching or, like, little sprites movement. But I can't tell if I'm seeing things or what. Exercise that one. Didn't get anything out of it, though. Ooh. What the- what the hell was that? New letter or the old one? This morning we found very- these very odd objects around the church. The best way I can describe them would be large, life-sized dolls made of sticks and dead tree branches. Someone must have placed them there while we were sleeping. Hoodlums, maybe, or a group of weirdos. That's what I was seeing out there, the grave things. The twins seem fixated on these tall things. They stare out the window at them all day. I even heard them shout that they saw Miriam standing around them, but when I looked, there was nobody there. Maybe it's the strange behavior of the twins or the hours of driving these farm roads at night, but this place is getting to me. I keep having the same nightmare where I'm standing outside the church, looking out into the fields. I can see people looking back at me through the rows of corn. The bodies are painted red. That's not paint. People? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Seems normal enough. Cross, no, wait. That's a little weird. Now I'm gonna step down and none of you turn into weird, weird devil things, okay? We're all good, right? Good. Now I'm gonna go into the secret passageway. Or not. Something's out there. I know I saw it. Did you go and hide in here? Am I trying to track you down? Try that again. Maybe I bugged out before, because I, I, I got the ghost off of that one before. And it didn't turn this skull purple. So... Get out of here! Get out of here! That's right! Get out of here! I had no choice, is that what you just said at the end?
Now I got something new. I should have known this place was no good. The signs were all around me. The disappearances of creepy twins. The life-size stick dolls. Four of them. Around two in the morning, we woke up to the sound of an old woman's cackle coming from the hallway outside the twins' room. I know this sounds crazy, but when we got to the hallway, the laughing was coming from a painting of the Virgin Mary. We thought we had lost our minds just then. We heard a loud noise coming from the chapel. We got there just in time to see Miriam drag the twins down the stairs, leading to the basement. I drew my service weapon but was stopped by the father clerk. He said something about God to work ahead down the stairs, sealing the opening to the stairs behind him. The stairs don't seem to open from this side. All I could do is wait. I can't describe the noises I heard down there, but one thing is certain. The devil is real. To anyone reading this, please, for the love of God, don't go down to the basement. Oh, we're gonna go down. Soon enough. This thing has changed. Don't you move! I'm watching you all. That's from the original Faith. The hand comes out of the mouth. I purged it! Come! Come in the name of God! God, there's too many! So rather than going up there, let's see if we just go straight down the stairs? No. So we do have to... purge this one, I believe. But... So many came at me, and I had my cross pointing right at him. That was not enough. So maybe I gotta be in, like, right position. Tactical... Tactical position to, like, use the cross and all of them at the same time? I don't know. I guess it's only the other one that attacks you. Darkness surrounds me. Flashlight. Oh boy. Here we go. Play an old fashioned Doom 3. Saw a child. That thing is not being purged no matter how much I purge it. The child did disappear though. Wait, it disappeared! Where'd it go? Ooh! Is it gone? Anything ever truly gone? I guess it is. Let's leave. What? Father Clark? What's that? You just put me like a time portal zone? <laughs> Here's the ritual in the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. He that is master of spirits, let these spirits follow the dragon, be put into the effigy of the accursed. Only then can be purified. You will know his time when his eyes glow red. Then to the unseen world destroy the purified effigy with fire. Then shall the door to hell be opened. This is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. child. Twins. Uh-oh. I guess I was the, the sister. You know, the demo. I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. 660 of 666 points. Will you Who? To me, priest. Here I go. Oh, 
There's a lot more weirder stuff that happens when this fight is dragged out. Okay, but anyway, so I am back here again because I am looking to see if there's an alternate ending, which the original had, so I'm going to try not going to the church, or at least the chapel portion of the church anyway, and I'm just going to head back home and get in my car. So we're just going to do some walking. We ain't going to care. We're like, hey, you know what? That's a death trap. Let's just get out of here. Call the army. And if they think a cross is so tough, wait till they see a modern day assault rifle. We have a few jets and missiles to my good measure. It's a little different this time. I can finally actually do that on now. Last time they didn't let me do anything. So if you remember the letter it gives you at the very end, it does mentioning it does mention ever lighting the effigy. And here it goes! The fire! The running man! Uh oh. Game crashed. Good game! Crashing! As soon as you get the secret ending, you crash. <laughs> I gotta redo the whole thing again. Oh, bloody. Okay, this time I did not crash. All the children gather from the corn. Completed the ritual. And I think I'm now in the, sp the weird spider thing from early on. First faith. Okay. Was my existence again? I go down, do I go up? There we go. The sister. Three days into profane Sabbath. Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero here, showing off a new format that we will be doing at the end of certain videos, especially long series, where usually I just have a kind of vocal commentary where I talk about the game and stuff. So some of them will have a little bit of face cam, sometimes to help illustrate a point, sometimes just because I'm here, it's me, hello. But this will be the first one to have it, like I said. And so I'm going to give my summary of Faith 2 Demo. And pretty much it's it's Faith 1, but again. So there's nothing wrong with the demo. Um, it it's almost feels like a full game. Like there's enough content there where I'm wondering, is this going to be a kind of shareware prequel thing? And then the main game is... You know, they, 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 it's like a sequel, and you're like, well, if you want to know the true story behind what happened here, go play the demo. Or if it's just going to be the demo, but extremely much more fleshed out without any cliffhangers. I'm leaning towards the former, but, you know, I could be wrong. But strong demo, I mean, I, I give it a lot of props for that. And I do like the Faith games. I like their style. I like how they have that kind of cutscene where they, they kind of like turn around, and they're all pixelated, and they go... Like that. 
I think that's a pretty cool touch because it has a nice little contrast. It kind of jumps to it. If I had to give it any criticism or feedback, depending on how you want to phrase things, is that, like I said, it is Faith 1. At least the demo is anyway. It's You go into the wilderness, some spooky thing comes out from like the corner of the screen and goes Rawr! and you're like, oh no! Cross power! And then it goes away and it's like, ah, I'll get you next time! Priest! And if you don't, you die instantly and then you get the mortis thing and then it just kind of goes in a loop. They did do some new stuff towards the end. They tried to do a little more atmosphere building. They had a little section of the dark and the light, which was interesting. It had like a little different pops up depending like where you're shining it, the fight changes a little. Not the fight itself, but what you can see during the fight anyway. So there is some new dynamics, some of it is kind of rehashed. So if I were to say for a full version, I would like to see some of the more newer style stuff. That kind of atmosphere, more, a little more story, kind of meat there. Not so much as fun as it was, not so much the, the thing comes out of the corner and tries to kill you really fast, and they go, Arr! Um it, it already has plenty of that from the first game. But yeah, that's it for my playthrough of the Faith 2 demo. So, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy. Brrrr!